In special relativity, the relativistic momentum is somewhat different than our usual momentum is mass times velocity. In fact, the correct formula is P is gamma times beta times mc. There are better derivations of this fact, but let's try to consider a simple uh, argument. We want to look at some general collision problem with some number of particles about to come together. And we'd like to have a way of saying that momentum is conserved in the absence of external forces acting on the system. But we have to actually know what momentum to use and say it's conserved. We typically write something like P is dr dt over dt. The challenge is that this formula isn't unique because there's no absolute time. We could write down an expression of conservation of momentum in one frame and there would not be a, a, it would not be well defined or unique because there's no special frame, there's no special time that we should be using. Instead, clocks click and time tick off at different rates and different frames of reference. So we can't have an absolute time, but at least we can pick a time that's well defined. In other words, everyone would know how to calculate that time given the frame that they happen to be in. The time that we're thinking of here is called the proper time. That's the time that ticks off in the center momentum frame, that frame in which the total momentum of my collection of particles is zero. In that frame, I know that the time always elapses the most slowly. So we're going to write, write that time as tau, and we're going to write all future momenta as dr over d tau. We'll remember that the proper time is always the smallest time elapsed, and everyone else in every other frame has a time t that elapses it's related to tau by tau is equal to t over gamma. In this case, the, moment, the definition of momentum will be dr over d tau, which we can write in our variables as dr over dt times dt over d tau. And that just equals mv for the first fraction times gamma for the second fraction, which we can also write as gamma beta mc. So there's nothing too special about this momentum, at least it's the only thing that's special about it is that it is a uniquely defined momentum. Everyone can calculate this one and relate it to, for everyone else, and it's not a set of momenta that are only defined in our own frame and not easily translatable to, for some, to someone who's in a different frame. We need this because we don't, because in relativity, no frame of reference is absolute. So at least we have one frame of reference that we can all go to and agree that once we got there that that's the frame that net momentum is zero. We're going to use this formula for, for momentum from now on, but do notice that it does reduce down to the usual formula we're familiar with. If we look at p is equal to mv gamma, when gamma, gamma goes to 1, that happens when v gets very small compared to the speed of light. So p equals mv, the more familiar formula, is recovered in the low speed limit.